Now let's move on to the next presentation. Uh, this group has developed forum for interconnectivity with handheld gadgets. Managed by Mr. Rahul Deshmukh and mentored by Mr. Santosh Shinghare. A new forum concept to support video, image and text and interconnect with handheld devices. The team is here, so let's start with the presentation. A very good afternoon to one and all. So the project which I was working and my teammate was working was development of forum for its interconnectivity with handheld gadgets. Uh, I am Shobhi Saxena and she is Shivangi Anijab. So what, what was the basic motivation behind our project? So we focused on the development of a forum which can be interconnected with the handheld uh, gadgets so that the interaction with the forum can be very easy. So why our forum when there are so many forums available in the marketplace so why particularly our forum because it is different from the general forums available in the market. The uh, answers can be provided in media format. We can provide the answers in videos, audios, images and text format and most importantly we have integrated our forum with the handheld gadgets through the uh, through through applications android app and S sms messaging service will will be treated later so uh, for the development of front, uh, front end web pages we have used the bootstrap framework and for the development uh, that is the back end functionality we have used the spring mvc and uh, database we have used mysql so why bootstrap we have used bootstrap because it is compatible with all the handheld devices and it supports responsive web design and it is uh, open source and why Spring? Uh, we have used Spring framework because it is a, a very lightweight framework, uh, loose coupling, powerful abstraction and it is very flexible in the sense like it can be integrated very easily with the other frameworks and it is entirely based on interfaces uh, the, because of its reduced uh, development complexity uh, in the sense that testing is very easy and it is standard for enterprise Java development and it can be easily extended in future. So the flow of our development was like this, first we analyzed what functionalities have to be developed and then we formed the database because the database here is very important because we are storing the entire media in our project. Then we did the front end analysis and then the development and impl implementation of the desired functionalities and then uh, apps were developed that it can be integrated, integrated with uh, handled gadgets. So what are the basic features our forum? Our forum as, a, as uh, most of the forums provide we have login and one can view the what has been posted, one can post on the forum any query he is having and then uh, we have roles and permissions. For example, if we have a normal user then there will be some permissions assigned and he, he will be able to access the forum only based on permissions. If we have admin suppose then he will be having some special privileges through which he can uh, change the entire forum accordingly, he can set the categories and accordingly he can set the settings. Uh, the, he can set the forum according to him. Now the posting part is basically done by, uh, so about the android app that can be used to post a question uh, when we are not able to have a PC uh, available to us. Uh, for, so the, it is a free android app and it can be downloaded from the google play, it connects through the portal, we just have to select the category to which we have to up, uh, put the answer, we have to then type the question and we can give our name or uh, email id, it is optional and once we click on submit question the question will get automatically posted to the forum and once the moderator sees the question then he can provide the answer uh, available or someone else can put the answer. The next uh, thing that we have integrated is the messaging service. So if we are in a place we have, we have a doubt but the internet is not available to us. So and, but still we want to ask a question so we can just type a, uh, the text and we can send it to this number. Once the text has been sent to this number it will get uh, posted to uh, the forum through the API that are being uh, available which we have used and then the question will be posted to the forum and the answers can be provided. Answers will come by SMS? Uh, sir actually answers will not come by SMS then because what they use? Sir that is in the future scope because we are uh, using the media part so to upload uh, directly the video it is not that easy from the mobile and uh, handheld gadget so it is in the future scope we will work on SMS yes. not MMS I yes, send sir. a simple text query yes sir. and I have to reach a PC to get an answer at least you can post this. So we can post through handheld gadgets because no, the basic motor is required here if you allow me you, SMS interface means in as well as out okay so that is a st standard thing that I expect. So we same we with your android app what does it do I can only post I cannot receive. So the, we can do one thing uh, can I receive or not yes sir we can receive the answers in uh, text, app. text format but not in the entirely in the video format right now. It is in the future scope but once we put a question in the text format then we can receive an answer in the text format uh, available but not in the video or mp3 format. 
So, what we have learned? We have learned new technologies like bootstrap and spring and the importance of document documentation that came very handy in the end and we learned the version control part and the importance of connecting our portal with the handled gadgets because uh, various times the net issues are there and so we are not able to post and the forum development part. One second, have you seen this ad? Huh? Idea ad. Not seen, you don't see TV. One of the few ads which this fellow gets. Okay. Abhishek Bachchan. Okay. What does he say? On every mobile I will have internet. Okay. Then they can do it, no? <laughs> Don't worry, that is a current problem and I am sure that is not correct. Okay. Almost all areas in India will have internet by now. I have not, uh, will have mobile by now. Whether each mobile have a, will have an internet or not is a future, but it is going to happen. Okay. So, while you are speaking, I was actually thinking, okay, whether if every mobile has got browser, do I need separate apps or not? I am still confused. I think separate apps are better. Okay, but do I actually need? Handled earlier needed, but now every everybody will have. I am sure sometime. Okay. Ah, correct. That that is the special thing. Though that is a special thing which I cannot do. So the goals Ajib, uh, were basic functionalities of the forum were developed successfully. And the answers can be given in video format, which was the ma major issue with us, can be given as well. And the interconnectivity was the forum was successfully done because two apps were developed. And the road ahead is that we want to develop the entire forum with full functionalities. Uh, but due to lack of time, we were unable to develop the full thing. So next, we will be continue with the demonstration of the project. We have uh, the basic functionalities like if we want to register, you can move it fast if you want. Uh, we can register from here, and we have another of forget password. Uh, sir, actually, it's running. Uh, that's why we have prepared a video because uh, the it's not connected. yes, sir, it's not connected. Uh, then, like uh, so, once we click, uh, that is the question. Once we click, we able to have the video, and once more demonstration which we want to show is through those two apps, the Android app and the SMS app. If net is not coming, then we have integrated that feature in Android app as well that uh, without net, we can post through that app only through SMS. That is why I was upset. They have SMS, they have got a SIM so, card, they have got a connection and they will not send an SMS back, which is useless. Now the next thing, uh, just before we posted a question through Android app without internet connectivity and it was, we refreshed that uh, view part and it was shown there. And now we are posting with internet connectivity. So, we have uh, a particular built in SMS service provided by the CDP only. So, we are uh, CDP. Uh -huh. So, so the uh, uh, question through Android app and it will be displayed here. It is actually very fast. Now, SMS service. So, uh, but it, it, it must be in text format only. What we are focusing is in the media format. Uh, so, that was our main motive, the initial motive, uh, then we integrated with the uh, handled gadgets. Yes, sir. so the basic SMS service applications are very common, uh, like if we want to post uh, somewhere and we can receive the reply. You do not have to build everything from scratch. Yes, sir. So, have you investigated? Yes, sir, we have investigated and uh, for SMS only we are using the API, the uh, server has been provided to us. No, no. So, do you have a comparison report of some open source available such products? Uh, sir, we, uh, there is a, uh, a FUD forum available on GitHub. Uh, we have uh, uh, investigated it, but uh, we have not included in our presentation because it must be very long. Then. Thank you. Sir.